All right, well, welcome back to the iWealth Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about empty nesters. So, Matt, my youngest son, I have two children, is 18, and he's going off to school next year, like this fall. Okay. So, I'm going to be technically an empty nester. We'll Ooh. see if Trudy still likes me oh, after that, if she's going to put up with me or not. <laughs> but one of the questions that I get asked is, like, uh, how do we address this in our financial planning? Like, what changes? I know what changes at the dinner table. It's just you looking at your spouse and hoping that you love each other yet, yeah. right? But what, what, you know, from a financial standpoint, what should somebody look at? Like, have you ever talked to anybody about that or? The empty a, nest thing? Yeah. Oh man, with a with an eight year old that's so far away from me right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm very scared about the empty nest piece of it. But I do watch, like even with my parents, when we all moved out of the house, you just sensed that it was like a little bit different. That, yeah. You know, mom's never been this excited to see me, you know, when I come back. Yeah. And I, I can only imagine when Grace comes back someday. <laughs> it'll be like, yes. Tr- Trudy's even threatening to, like, go in Corbin's suitcase when he goes to college because he's the youngest when he goes, like, I'm going to follow you to <laughs> college. Follow but, you. Because I don't like your dad. No. Um, when, it, when, when it comes to the financial <laughs> side of it, though. I hope Trudy doesn't watch the <laughs> When it comes to the financial side of it, it's it's really important that I see people kind of refocus, not on, I mean, yeah, you're an empty nester, but kind of refocus in, okay, I'm done paying for, hey, mom, I need $5 to go to McDonald's. It's probably 15 now or whatever that is, like gas, those kind of things. They're still helping in college, but things have changed. So I've seen people kind of refocus and say, let's look at cash flow. So I'm 45 years old or 48 years old or 50 years old. I got 15 years of retirement. Like it's starting to get real to me now. My kids are gone. Like, where do I go? What do I do? And so we'll sit them through down and we'll take a look at some of our tools and we'll start to cash flow and look at cash flow for them. Because the statement I always hear is I don't want to be, I don't need to be rich, but I do not want to be broke. Don't let me run out of money. And so we take a look at their social security, if they have a pension potentially, their 401k plans and their investments. And we say, how much money do you need to live on? And that's where the tough part, like what's your budget? Cause nobody budgets anymore. It's a, what is that number? And then we put it in a spreadsheet and start to show them what it looks like. Like, yeah, you can do this at 65. Ones and zeros yeah, on paper. Yeah. But I see them, I see in their mind, they're kind of retooling. After they become an ex- empty nester, they're kind of retooling saying, okay, the next phase of life, now the kids are gone, the next phase of life, yeah. after we get through this phase is gonna be maybe retirement. Yeah. And we better focus some attention there since our kids aren't focused on us anymore. So It's interesting too, like thinking about a lot of couples by the time that they make it to that retirement stage, I feel like they've figured out if money means freedom or if money means security. You know, and sometimes Mm. it takes a lifetime of being married to somebody before you, you know, get to the retirement age and you're like, okay, well, for my spouse, it clearly means that, you know, as we've accumulated money, that's clearly security or as we've accumulated money. And sometimes both spouses are on the same page and sometimes it's, you know, one's the spender and one's the saver. But does it mean, you know, security? Or does it mean freedom for that other spouse? And that plays a lot into that conversation around, you know, what's happening in retirement. Yeah. And I feel like that's your job is to help clarify that. For sure. And when you have that split like that, you got to take care of the security person, meaning how am I not going to run out of money? Yep. And then the person that's more on the feeling side, you've got to be able to have a bucket of money sitting there that this is our money that's just there. Yeah. This is for travel and this yep. is for the next vehicle and this is to pay for your grandkids to go to Disney World with you. Like they and need to have you, make your every other day Menards run. <laughs> if you live in Minnesota. But we got to get the secure one done first. <laughs> that, that has one to happen. Done first. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and the, then we can get to the other one. <laughs> the, the, the fun money. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. So check back with me like a year from now. We'll see how Trudy's like handling me in the empty nest. So I'm going to ask you for your <laughs> wife, Brad, does money mean um, security or does money mean um, freedom for me it's security first. for you for but me what, personally what for security I, th- I think it's security first I, you know we've been high school sweethearts and yeah. and just kind of grew up and we we're able to grow the business and things together so I think I think security first but definitely looking towards freedom yeah. and and I don't ever plan on retiring per se 
but I want more freedom to do things. I, you know, I want to travel. I want to do some things like that. I want to be with my family, yeah. but that's more of the freedom thing. But I have to have security taken care of yeah, just me personally. That, that yeah. box check. Yeah. Interesting. So yeah. you guys are, you guys are similar. I think so. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. A lot of couples aren't. Well, I would, I, if I had to guess, I think most couples, there's a spender, you know, and then there's a saver. Be that interesting. Be the there's stats probably out there. Use some AI to figure it out. Huh? <laughs> no, that would be, we'll save that for the next podcast. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll look that up. Yeah. Cool. Well, we will uh, see you back here next time on the IWL podcast. All right.